Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEVS Home School. I am Ashi Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 7 and there is a good news for you, there is no ASW today. And our today's topic name exercise 7b. From exercise 7b, we shall solve question number 8, 9, 10, and 11 as your CW. I repeat, there is no SW today. My dear student, question number 8, 9, 10, 11 has a lot of problems. From that, sub problems we shall solve only selective problems. Okay, and others' problems will be solved by yourself at your home. Okay, so my dear student, let's go to our class. Here exercise 7b that means decimal division. Okay, 8 number question. 1, 2 divided by 1.6, 3 number, 5 divided by 0 0.125. My dear student, in your textbook, this question is as fill in the blanks, but you need to practice this problem as just like division. Okay. So here number 1, 2 divided by 1.6. Okay, at first we solve this 8, 1 okay 2 divided by 1.6 my dear student we know every number has a denominator which is 1 i repeat every number has a denominator which is 1 so we write this 2 as 2 by 1 okay divided by and this decimal number we write this decimal number as fraction number how can my dear student at first i write a draw a fractional sign okay then write 16 without this decimal point and for this decimal point i write here one and after point there is one digit as one digit we write one zero i repeat at two digit then we write two zero three digit then we write three zero okay for this point i write one and as uh, after point there is only one digit so i write one zero so 16 by 10 is the fraction form of this decimal number 1.6 now we know uh, fraction of two number means the multiplication of first fraction with the reverse of the second fraction that means 2 by 1 multiply by 10 by 16 now my dear student notice this 16 is cut by the number 2 okay 2 on the 2 and 2 8 are 16 okay now again you notice this is 10 and this is 8 both number is divided by the number 2 so 5 to the 10 and 4 to the 6 now it is 5 by 4 now my dear students i divide this 5 by 4 okay 5 so if we divide this 5 by 4 in 5 4 goes in on times 4 on the 4 now we subtract and we get 1 okay a uh, and we get 1 okay 1 is a smaller than 4 for this reason here we give point and for this point i write here 1 0 okay in 10 4 goes in 2 times 4 2 are 8 okay subtract we get 2 in each case after point we get 0 extra money as a bonus means as a bonus we get a 0 in 24 goes in 5 times that means 5 4 jar 20 so 1.25 is the required answer okay 1.25 is the required answer i hope you have understood okay number one done next we shall solve question number three here first of all we pick up this question 5 divided by 0 0.125 so my dear student we know every number is a denominator which is 1 divided by we write this number without this decimal point okay if we write 0 1 to 5 no need uh, no need to write 0 cause left 0 has no value so we write 125 for this point i write here 1 after point there is 3 di 3 digit so we write 3 0 right okay 5 by 1 multiply by 1000 okay divided by 125 now my dear student we cut this and this number 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 and 5 twos are 10 uh, left 25 5 fives are 25 so if we cut 5 by 5 then we get 1 
if we cut 125 by 5 then we get 25 now my dear student we cut this 1025 25 on the 25 and 25 for the 100 and this zero is placed here so as a numerator 1 multiply 10 and as a denominator 1 multiply 1 so uh, uh, 40 by 1 that means we write 40 and this is the answer okay I hope you have understood 40 is the required answer of question number 3 8 number question done next we shall solve question number 9 okay and from 9 we shall solve sub number 1 and 4 okay Nine one, and the question is nine divided by one point eight, similar as question number eight. So we know uh, nine has a denominator which is one divided by. At first I write this number with this point that means eighteen. For this point I write it one, and after point there is only one digit, so we give one zero. Now nine by one multiply by reverse that means ten by eighteen. Now we cut 9 on the 9 and 9 to the 18 and 10 and 2 both number are cut by 2 5 to the 10 and 2 on the 2. So as a numerator there is 1 multiply 5 so 5 on the 5 and as a denominator there is 1 multiply 1 that means 1 on the 1 so 5 is the required answer okay. So 5 is the required answer so one number done next we shall solve question number 4 which is 30 divided by 0 0.5 so first of all 30 divided by 1 because we know every number has a denominator which is 1 divided by and we write this number without decimal point that means 5 divided by 4 point we write here 1 and after point only one digit so we write 0 so now 30 by 1 multiply reverse that means 10 by 5 now we cut 5 ones are 5 and 5 6 are 30 so notice you can also cut this 5 by 10 5 ones are 5 5 to the 10 then that times you multiply 2 with 30 now this time uh, we cut 30 by uh, 5 and we get 5 ones are 5 5 6 are 30 so as a numerator there is 6 multiplied with 10 that means 60 and 1 ones are 1 so 60 is the required answer I hope you have understood so nine number done next we shall solve question number 10 that means do division just like the same procedure okay ten number ten air four here you notice zero point four nine divided by zero point seven now my dear student at first we write the number without point that means 49 and for point I write here 1 and after point there is 2 digit for this reason I write here 2 0 divided by 7 for point 1 and after point 1 digit so 10. So 49 by 100 multiply by this 10 is uh, this fraction will be reversed that means 10 by 7. So 10 on the 10 and 10 10 are 100 again. 7 ones are 7 and 7 7 are 49 so here you notice as a numerator 7 ones are 7 and as a denominator 10 ones are 10 so 7 10 by 10 is the required answer of this question okay so four number done no 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 my dear student please notice as the fraction is decimal number so we must write this fraction as decimal number okay so we divide this 7 by 10 so in 7 10 goes in 0 times 0 tens are 10 then 7 okay now we give here point for point i write here 0 in 70 10 goes in 7 times that means 7 tens are 70 so 0 0.7 is the answer answer 0 0.7 right okay so 10 and 4 number done next we shall solve question number 6 
zero point zero three divided by zero point zero six. Now we write this number without point that means three divided by four point one two digit that means two zero divided by similar way six divided by one hundred. Now three by one hundred multiply by one hundred by six. Okay, hundred hundred are cut and three ones are three, three twos are six and left as a numerator one and as a denominator two ones are two. Now we divide this one by two. So in one two goes in zero times zero twos are zero one for this uh, point we write here zero in ten two goes in five times that is five twos are ten zero. So zero point five is the answer of this question. I hope you have understood. Next number question number eleven. So we solve this. Eleven five. So sixteen point eight divided by zero point three five. Okay. Right. At first we write the number without point. After that for point I write here one and for only one digit ten divided by thirty five by one hundred. Why? Because after point there is two digit for this reason I write here one hundred. Now one sixty eight by Ten multiply by hundred by thirty five. Now, my dear student, we cut. That means ten ones are ten and ten tens are hundred. Again, you notice thirty five and ten both are cut by five. Five twos are ten and five sevens are thirty five. Now, in one hundred sixty eight, seven goes in how many times? Seven twos are. 14. If we subtract, then we get 2. That means 28. In 28, 7 goes in 7 fours are 28. I hope you have understood. Okay. So now you notice as a numerator there is 2 fours are 8 and 2 twos are 4. 1, 1 ones are 1. So 48 is the answer of this questions. 48. Next we shall solve question number. Nine question number nine of this question. So nine is nine divided by zero point zero one two. So we write nine by one divided by. We write this number without decimal point. That means twelve divided by four point. We write here one and after point there is how many digit three digit. For this three digit I write right here three zero. So now nine by one multiply by one thousand divided by twelve. So now we cut this number by three. Three threes are nine and three fours are twelve. Now we cut this one thousand by four. Four twos are eight. Twenty in twenty four goes in five times and this zero. Okay. Now we do multiplication and we get. Three zeros are zero. Three fives are fifteen. Three twos are six on seven. So seven hundred fifty. It is the required answer of this question. So my dear student, a lot of problems are available in question number eight, nine, ten, and eleven. In order to learn better, you must practice all the problems. If you faces any type of problems, then you can. contact with me my contact number is given on the board so my dear student i hope this class is fruitful uh, fruitful for you uh, keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalam alaikum